Welcome to my review of the Ibanez ES2 Echo Shifter. Um, it's a very cool delay pedal with some cool features like tap tempo, modulation, oscillation and the fact that can, you can use a slider control to adjust your delay time. We'll be using a Gibson Les Paul Studio um, through the Echo Shifter with some reverb from the TC Electronic Hall of Fame into a Marshall JTM45 clone. Um, nothing is added in post from uh, EQ effects or something, so everything you're hearing is just a pedal. Let's check it out. Alright, so this is my clean tone. Now we'll engage the pedal. Now the modulation, it kind of um, shifts your tone like a, a whammy does. Um, I like to use it very subtle because if you crank it you'll get some weird shit. It's almost kind of a chorus effect, but if you crank it, you can get some really nasty sounds. So we'll just leave it somewhere here.
will add the TC Electronic Hall of Fame for some real ambient sounds. We'll put the modulation a little bit higher. Now the last feature is called oscillation, it kind of adds um, distortion to your tone or it uh, regenerates the tone you get when you put um, the feedback and make some of the delay pedal all the way up, so it oscillates I guess. <laughs> Alright, so it's a very nice pedal, um, it sounds nice, it feels nice, it's some very cool features, though there is one big problem with it and it's probably the reason why I'll end up selling it. Um, the major problem is that you cannot tap the tempo when the pedal is in bypass. So for example, when the pedal is not engaged and you press the tap tempo button, nothing happens. When you engage the pedal, you can tap the tempo. But of course in the live situations this is not very handy because you'll need to tap the tempo before you engage the pedal. Now there is a solution to this. You can use a true bypass looper and put the pedal in a loop. Uh, that way you can leave the pedal always on. You can tap the tempo without any problem and then just engage your true bypass looper. But then again it's two extra cables, extra pedal on your pedal board. It's just not handy. So 
I like the pedal, but this is one thing Ibanez should have made better, in my opinion, because why even make the pedal with a tap tempo function when you cannot use it before you engage the pedal, so yeah, just my two cents. Alright, I hope you liked this review, and uh, maybe see you next time.